staff, superintendent, and board members, and thank you all for coming. I'd like to thank my classmates, first of all, for electing me to the honor of speaking for Team Phoenix today. For those of you who may not know me, my name is Don Hammer, and I've been going to Ridgefield Public Schools for almost nine years now. I've been at Scotts Ridge for all three years, and I can still remember, at the beginning of sixth grade, how I felt coming to Scotts Ridge. Most of the other kids I didn't know because they came from all our elementary schools. The school's like a maze, and I had no idea where to go for each class. But, as you can see, I survived. <laughs> Over my three years here, I've gotten to know the school very well, although I can still never remember which office to go to if I come late. <laughs> I always look back at the memories I have from this school. I remember in sixth grade math class, we always enjoyed Mr. Walsh's silly stories and rhymes. Dividing fractions is easy as pie, so the second number multiply. <laughs> One of the more recent memories I have that I will hopefully carry with me the rest of my life is when was when Holocaust survivor Mrs. Altman came and talked to the eighth grade about her experiences and her life story. One of the most amazing things about her was that she had all the reason to hate because of how she was treated, but instead decided to travel and educate schools about what the Holocaust was really like. I think we can all learn something from this. One thing that we're all talking about is high school, the next step of our lives. At first, I was apprehensive because I had no idea what to expect. The few times I've been to Ridgefield High, it seems like a completely different world from the school I'm comfortable with right now. But if you think about it, it's just like going to middle school again. New kids, new teachers, new building. And there are a lot of pluses to high school as well. I'm excited because of all the opportunities and freedoms we have. I have an older brother in high school, and I know that some of my classmates have siblings up there as well, so at least we know some of what to expect. And finally, after all, we're only moving across a parking lot. <laughs> I'd like to thank all my teachers for seeing us students not just as a big class, but as individuals, with individual skills and needs. I also want to thank Principal Mr. Salem and Mr. Sheehan, and wish him good luck in his new uh, career. Mark Twain, the two most important days in your life are the day you were born and the day you find out why. <laughs> a question that we students get asked a lot is, what do you want to be when you grow up? You don't always have to have an answer to that. I don't. Because I like to think that life isn't like one intersection where you have to choose your path and then never look back. I'd rather live a life like a winding road with twists and turns that take me to unexpected and amazing places. But back to the quote. I think that moving to high school brings us closer to that finding out what we want to be part. Middle school is like a step on a ladder that we climb, and each step brings you closer to the top. Finally, of course, I want to thank my classmates. I hope to see you all next year here at Richfield High. On behalf of the Scotts Ridge Middle School Class of 2014, I'd like once more to say thank you to everyone who made my and our classmates' middle school experience possible. Thank you.